By the powers vested in me as Vice Chancellor and Principal, I hereby constitute this assembly as a legal congregation of the University of Pretoria. During this assembly, degrees and diplomas with all the associated rights and privileges will be conferred and awarded to the candidates whose names appear in the program. We request all of you to join us in silent prayer or meditation to give thanks for the achievements of our students. As Vice Chancellor and Principal of the University of Pretoria, I extend a hearty word of welcome to you at this virtual graduation ceremony. I would like to welcome the Dean and the Deputy Dean of the Faculty, along with all persons to whom degrees and diplomas will be conferred and awarded to. We also welcome families, friends and spouses to this virtual graduation ceremony. This is the third virtual graduation ceremony the university has held in the past year, after we were obliged to depart from the traditional graduation format as a result of COVID-19 pandemic, which as you know, has made large physical gatherings impossible for the time being. Our first virtual graduation season commenced just 10 days after the declaration of the national state of disaster towards the end of March, 2020. It was memorable, not only for that sobering reason, but also for a more agreeable one. During those first virtual ceremonies, the University of Pretoria conferred 11,001 qualifications on graduates in absentia. This was a record number for the university and one of the largest graduating cohorts, if not the largest in South Africa at the time. I'm delighted to share with you that the autumn 2021 graduation season is now breaking that record. In this graduation season, we'll be conferring a total of 11,424 qualifications, including 198 doctorates and 1,289 master's degrees. This is a great achievement, especially in these uncertain and unpredictable times. Such an achievement is simply magnificent. I mean this on two levels. One is the outstanding personal effort you put into persevering with your studies when normal study routines and methodologies had suddenly been upended. And I'll say more about this later. The other level concerns the collective contribution of this graduating cohort to the skills of our country and more broadly our continent. Compared to the rest of the world, South Africa and Africa as a, as a whole a very low graduation rates per capita, a state of affairs that perpetually widens the skills gap. The fact that we at the University of Pretoria are now graduating such a large number of cohort of graduates is good news indeed for the development of our country and the continent. But this welcome injection of skills is not only about numbers. Just as important are the kinds of skills and the quality of skills that you, our graduates, will be bringing with you into whatever career or study pathway you choose to pursue from this point. For instance, the University of Pretoria students once again excelled in the ITC, the initial test of competence, which is the first professional exam for prospective chartered accountants. In November 2020, students from our Faculty of Economic and Management Sciences again achieved first position in South Africa. This feat followed on the first place we achieved in the January 2020 ITC, when an unprecedented seven out of the top 10 students in the country were from this university. In addition, UP won the 2020 Chartered Institute of Management Accountants SEMA Prize Winner Excellence Award, as well as the Institute's Global Excellence Award at its first ever virtual award ceremony. These awards recognize university partners with top performing SEMA students in case study exams, as well as university partners that have achieved the highest pass rates for SEMA exams. What makes these accomplishments even more special is that our students excelled despite the disruption of having their ITC exam deferred from June 2020 to November 2020 owing to lockdown regulations. Well done to everyone of you who was part of this incredible effort. 
Not content with notching up all the accomplishments I've just listed, we are also making history. One of our PhD graduates, Dr. Tumeka Mashova Raimudzisi, is the first black female chartered accountant to receive a PhD in leadership. This is a noteworthy achievement, testament to your commitment and dedication. Congratulations. If time permitted, which it unfortunately does not, there will be many other examples of achievement under pressure that I could share with you as testimony to the resilience and endurance of the human spirit. In my book, every one of you has shown resilience and endurance during unprecedented turbulence and upheaval. The university is proud of you all. All your hard work, tenacity and resilience has helped to get you to this point. Yes, the Institute certainly played its part. As the Vice Chancellor and Principal of the Investor of Pretoria, I know what efforts and energies were invested in keeping the academic program going and enabling our students to succeed during the most protracted campus closures in our history. But what stands out for me is not the effort UP made in rolling out laptops and remote learning technologies, so much as the skills you, our graduates, gained from the experience. For our graduates to make a difference in society, they need to be creative, flexible, resilient, entrepreneurial, and collaborative. I can state with confidence that this graduating cohort has these qualities in abundance. They will serve you and our country well. The university too has learned a lot from this pandemic. As you know, our preferred mode of teaching and learning before this health crisis has been the hybrid approach, a delivery model that makes use of traditional classroom-based learning tools supplemented by online and technology-supported activities. On the strength of our experiences online during this pandemic, we are reimagining the modes of teaching and learning that we are adopting for the future. Teaching and learning are going to be interesting spaces for innovation, creativity, and experimentation. Above all, we aim to provide a rich interactive experience that is educative and not just instructional, and which results in well-educated, skilled, socially engaged and sensitive graduates eager to transform our society, our continent and the world. We also aim to enable students to become graduates who can engage in lifelong learning where they unlearn and relearn. In this way, they can navigate the emerging world of work that is an outcome of multiple disruptions of the life and the world as we know it, including the disruptions caused by rapid technological change. In the near future, we'll be launching a center for the study of the future of work. Allow me to touch briefly on the disruptions you, our graduates, experienced during your studies in 2020. I know that all of you were affected by the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic while you were studying. However, what I and my colleagues at the university do not necessarily know is what trials and tribulations you individually and personally experience while completing your qualification. We do not know the, what difficulties and distractions were going on around you while you were studying for that crucial test or writing or revising the next chapter of your thesis or dissertation or what additional responsibilities you took on in your living space and with regard to your loved ones while soldiering through your year of completion. Were you perhaps one of the many South Africans separated from loved ones as a result of traveling restrictions and border closures? What personal sadnesses and sufferings and hardships did you endure as a result of COVID or otherwise in that most crucial time of your studies? Did you suffer loss of family and close ones, friends, fellow students, or colleagues? My colleagues and I cannot know what your lived experience was as you told to complete your degree, diploma, or certificate. What we do know without a shadow of doubt is that your success is hard won and deeply deserved. Earning a qualification from the University of Pretoria is an achievement to cherish. Earning qualifications in the time of COVID-19 is in a class of its own. 
you together with the 11,001 graduates of autumn 2020 and the 1,380 graduates of summer 2020 are unique. You have succeeded and we celebrate your achievement today. On behalf of the broader community of the University of Pretoria, please accept my heartfelt congratulations. Your graduation ceremony is your moment of triumph to savor, celebrate, share with family and friends, and remember for the rest of your life. We hope to one day return to physical graduation ceremonies where graduates can walk across the stage in the presence of family and friends and take photographs. For now, virtual graduation ceremonies such as these play an indispensable role in your journey with the university. This is because a virtual graduation is a legally constituted assembly that enables you to formally graduate so that you can receive your certificate and use it to open whatever doors you have intended to unlock, whether in the form of further studies, course at the University of Pretoria, or in your career or profession. May it lead you to more opportunities and serve you well. Turning now to the future, in the same way that you and your fellow graduates are on the stage of the next stage of fulfilling your dreams for your life, so is the University of Pretoria. As I briefly mentioned earlier, we've been using the challenges presented by the global health pandemic to begin rethinking, reimagining, and repositioning the university itself. The university can play an essential role in co-creating the country and continent we want post-COVID-19. Here at the University of Pretoria, we see an opportunity to be one of the agents and drivers of change in Africa and globally finding and deploying innovative ways to address poverty, unemployment, inequality, and social injustice. UP, as you know, is a hub for new ideas. When it comes to COVID-19 research, we are involved at multiple levels. We are researching genome profiles to be able to identify who in the population is at higher risk of contracting fatal viruses and other diseases. We are also researching how people in society behave during a pandemic. Because if we don't understand this, we cannot manage the spread optimally. We have participated in international COVID-19 clinical trials and produced sanitizers, face masks, and face shields. Our Faculty of Health Sciences quickly incorporated COVID-19 into the primary health care curriculum. This is how we will need to respond to pandemics in the future with rapid responses focused on multi-sectoral interventions. For example, our university is the only representative from Africa in the new University Social Responsibility Network, an international group of 16 top universities. And last year, the Times Higher Education's impact rankings rated UP among the top 100 universities in the world for its social and economic impact in three categories based on the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, otherwise known as the SDGs. These are quality education, industry, innovation and infrastructure, and peace, justice, and strong institutions. We envisage a better, more sustainable world characterized by prosperity, genuine democracy, peace, equity and equality, social justice, and ethical use of all resources. And we are convinced we can co-create this just new world through high-quality hybrid teaching together with transdisciplinary research and social engagement that is impactful. And of course, this co-creation must harness the collective expertise, energies, and goodwill of our family of alumni among whom you, the citizens graduates, can now be counted. As the new alumni of the Investor of Pretoria, Remember the values from UP to always strive for excellence, persevere, respect everyone, be creative, innovate, embrace diversity, grow, be a lifelong learner, be kind, and make a difference every day. This is what makes the UP way of life. I appeal to you to be part of our quest to rethink, reimagine, and reposition the investor pretoria, and in so doing, contribute to the co-creation of the Africa we want. Please take the next step by downloading the UP Connect Graduate app. 
keeping you connected to your alma mater and offering access to the many opportunities available to our alumni wherever in the world you are. Remember to always keep in contact with the alumni office at UP and let us know when your contact details change. No matter where you end up in the world, remember that you are part of the UP family whose overarching strength is its diversity in terms of staff, students, the programs offered, and areas of research that define its excellence. We are an institution on its way to becoming a beacon for demographic diversity and inclusivity, a future-oriented and focused university that is a driver of social change. Congratulations on your graduation and enjoy the celebrations with your loved ones. Take pride in the sense of achievement that comes with knowing that you have excelled against all odds. I hereby confer and award all degrees and diplomas in absentia with the associated rights and privileges to all candidates whose names appear in the graduation program. Doctor of Philosophy Animal Science Samuel Abin Thesis A Deterministic Evaluation of Alternative Management Options for the Smallholder Dairy Cattle Production System in South Africa Supervisor Professor C. Fisser External Co-Supervisor Dr. C. B. Banga Food Science Olalekan Adebowale Thesis Dry Heat Treatments of Sorghum Grains Influence on the Flower Storage Stability and Porridge Sensory Characteristics Supervisor Professor H. L. de Kock Co-Supervisor Professor J. R. N. Taylor Agricultural Economics Olayinka Adekbite Thesis Financial Inclusion of Rural Smallholder Farmers in Nigeria Measurement Issues, Impact on Livelihood and Implications for Policy Interventions Supervisor Professor C. L. Machete Nutrition Oluimika Adetola Thesis Iron and Zinc and Other Mineral Bioaccessibility Improvement in African Cereal-Based Porridges by Food-to-Food -food Fortification Supervisor Professor J. R. N. Taylor Co-Supervisor Dr. Z. White External Co-Supervisor Dr. J. Creer Forest Science Opeyemi Adeyemi Thesis Assessment of Multiple Ecosystem Services Demand and its Perceived Effect on Ecosystem Services Supply in Rural Communities of Omo Biosphere Reserve, Nigeria Supervisor Prof. W. P. Chirwa Co-Supervisor Dr. F. D. Babalola Medicinal Plant Science Annalika Blom von Staden Thesis Skin Repigmentation by Increasing Melanin Transfer Using Aspilathus Linearis Supervisor Prof. N. Lal Co-Supervisor Prof. J. C. Hardman External Co-Supervisor Prof. M. H. Motswaledi Zoology Tatenda Chiua Thesis One Health Approach to Vector Biology and Epidemiology of Arbor Viruses, Rickettsia and Protozoa in Smallholder Livestock Systems in Western Kenya Supervisor Prof. A. D. Bastos External Co-Supervisor Prof. E. M. Fevre External Co-Supervisor Dr. D. Masiga External Co-Supervisor Dr. J. Velinga 
Plant Pathology Joel Dube Thesis The Soil Microbiome in a Crop Rotation Program for the Eastern Free State Supervisor Professor J. E. van der Waals Co-Supervisor Professor D. A. Cohen Co-Supervisor Professor J. M. Stain. Food Science. James Elegbelei. Thesis. Characterization and spoilage potential of Bacillus subtilis complex group isolated from milk processing environment. Supervisor. Professor E. M. Base. Rural Development. Filippo Fossi Thesis An application of set theory to the classification of food security policies in eight African countries. Supervisor Professor S. L. Hendricks Animal Science Elsebi Janse van Rensberg Thesis Reciprocal influences of carcass classes on supply and pricing of red meat in post-apartheid South Africa. Supervisor, Professor N. H. Casey. Co-supervisor, Professor E. C. Webb. Heike Lucht. Thesis, Growth and Development of Chicken, Gallus Gallus Domesticus, Embryos, to in over bromide exposure. Supervisor, Professor N. H. Casey. Agricultural Economics. Skumbuzo Mlipa. Thesis. The impact of risk on regional economic integration in the Southern African Customs Union. Supervisor. Dr. M. W. Kalaba Agronomy Culver Booney Thesis The use of Moringa, Moringa Oliveira extracts to improve tomato, Lycopersican escalentum growth and disease resistance. Supervisor Dr. D. Marais Co-Supervisor Professor E. S. Dutoy. External Co Supervisor Dr. E. Ngadze. Martha Okumu. Thesis Glyphosate resistance in Coniza bonariensis, Kronk. A morphological, physiological, and molecular perspective. Supervisor Professor B. J. Forster. Co Supervisor Professor C. F. Reinhardt Co-Supervisor Professor P. J. Robertsa Biotechnology Advaita Singh Thesis Reduced proteolysis of Nicotania Benthamania produced broadly neutralizing CAP-256 monoclonal antibodies using CRISPR Dash Cas9 mediated genome editing. Supervisor Professor B. J. Forster. External co supervisor Dr. P. Pillay. External co supervisor Dr. T. L. Zekwa. Forest Science Alistair Stark. Thesis. The potential of native vegetation for the development of agroforestry systems on the Maputaland coastal plain. Supervisor Professor C. Everson. Co supervisor Professor J. G. Annandale. Co supervisor Professor C. J. Geldenes. Wildlife Management. Mariette van der Walt Thesis Investigating proximate factors related to the migration of Minopteris natalensis in northeastern South Africa. Supervisor Dr. M. Keith
External Co-Supervisor, Professor H. G. Broders. Master of Agriculture, Rural Development, Hope Mpata. Master of Agricultural Science, Agricultural Economics. Emilian Kasililika Mlaga. Juan Pierre Kotze. Maleness Mshegu. Jean Pierre Nordier. Linda Sankulani with distinction. Lindokushle Sishongonyane. Agronomy. Miriam Shonhai. Mandla Sibia. Animal Science, Animal Breeding and Genetics. Anal Ritif, with distinction. Sunika Sulwald. Antoinette van Weyck, with distinction. Animal Science, Animal Nutrition. Christian Bakker. Urbanus Rousseau. Julia Klo, Renier van Heerden, with distinction. Kyle Fenter, Animal Science, Production Physiology and Product Quality. Shana Wells, Horticulture, Nkansile Shongwe, with distinction. Elmien Kutze, with distinction. Pasture Science. Arnu Rotenbach. Plant Pathology. Carmen Rensberg. Soil Science. Sanele Dlamini, with distinction. Palesa Motaung. Master of Consumer Science. Tulisile Dlamini. Spepile Zwane. Master of Consumer Science, Clothing Management. Megan Grobler, with distinction. Rita Janssen van Furen, with distinction. Chanel Jonker, with distinction. Ruth Meyer, with distinction. Franziska Trienert Food Management Nontrebo Tsambokulu Master of Science Biotechnology Ingrid Mare with distinction Tabang Nsimango with distinction Environmental Ecology Cynthia Mapendere Misha Malarp Food Science Adriana Duplessis with distinction Nomzamo Machano with distinction Njabulo Mapumulo with distinction Mondli Masanabo with distinction Victor Mhaka Onalena Molalezzi Michael Munguari Nutrition Hanel Duvenacher Motusi Nyofane Plant Science Pinda Magagula Bernard Olifir with distinction Soil Science Marakwaneng Rapaledi with distinction. Wildlife Management. Elisabetta Carlin. Sally Hunter. Monique Shanahan. Emma Swartz with distinction. Zoology. Liesel Pretorius with distinction. 
Gordon Ringani Arantia Bletcher Itai Mokutu Gideon van den Berg with distinction Bachelor of Agriculture Honors Rural Development Mebato Chomo Sepiso Madiga Mashatse Makola Zesipo Mangaliso Malibiwe Manyakanyaka Andisiwe Rapia Onika Tsipi Bachelor of Science Honors Entomology Luandri Barnard Johan de Beer Kiandra Langston Elke Meyer Tanya Poggi with distinction Dylan Pollock Food Science Katlejo Baiki Tsipu Bolelwang Shante Bosch Kala Khei van Pitius Boitumelo La Mola Monica Marika Eugene Mashamba Kala Matei with distinction Nolutando Ndiata Amara Mudan with distinction Lindelwe Ndlovu Rebokile Nyati with distinction Helen Rudolph with distinction Katya Flotman with distinction Medicinal Plant Science Brandon Alston Monique Blichnot Hendrika Krier Samantha Lochenberg with distinction Jonathan Seaman with distinction Belinda Stander Catherine Wilkinson with distinction Plant Science Janine Bosov with distinction Jabulile Mashlangu Mokhadi Molapo Diane Murphy with distinction Heather Phillips Elof Tron Megan van den Berg Damien Vaz de Souza Jayant Vijayakumar Soil Science Environmental Soil Science Jessica Jordan Wildlife Management Tristan Baird Emma Evers with distinction Agatha Gervais with distinction Isma Kayiza Megan Roberts Daniela Skinner Marcel van Groene Zoology Aidan Bellingen Marley Berger with distinction Christoffel de Lange with distinction Kayla Denbe Cara Duplessis Armand Engelbrecht Renate Grobler Liam Marais Jabulile Nzizi 
Jordan, Netherlands. Lorraine Shuttleworth, with distinction. Laura Stradom. Bianca Tesselin. Marjorie Tornet. Caitlin van der Merwe, with distinction. Kyra Wallace. Bachelor of Agricultural Science, Animal Science. Danielle Busey. Luke Burrell. Jacobus Bluchnot. Monica Bunde. Ruben Bailefeld. Bianca Caldera de Aguiar. Sarah Cameron. Brenton de Quinnen. Denilson de Gouvea. Jean Pierre de Jacher. Michel de Witt. Eric Duhequet de Rauvel. Kayla Els. Guillaume Engelbrecht. Anata Erasmus. Martinez Ferreira. Casey Flanagan. Francois Furstenberg. Taylor Griffiths. Fabian Henley. Stephanie Holmes. Connor Ilsley. Anjuta Janssen van Furen. Janke Janse van Rensberg. Joshua Kozisek. Luisa Lennon. Neleke Lotz. Justine McKay. Courtney McPhail. Nkwane Maibelo. Kubeko Makalima. Bongani Maposa. Johannes Mare. Kaylee Marcus. Amore Meyer. Abigail Melleham. Martin Moshlaka. Lehumo Mokoto. Lorna Ustazen. Miche Pretorius. Tumelo Rapola. Emanuela Sarimanolis. Thomas Saunders. Luke Schimper. Elsabi Skitter. Jordan Smith. Candice Stock. Corlia Swart. U.S. Theron. Celeste van Deventer. Rochelle van Imenus. Jessica Wainwright. Danielle Weenink. Jamie Young. Applied Plant and Soil Sciences Francois Esselin Robert Godfrey Thomas Manneke Christoph Mulder Maxwell Perkins Monique Senecal Stefan Steenkamp with distinction Marcus Van Rensen Agricultural Economics and Agribusiness Management Lardes Basson Oliver Eggers with distinction Andrea Grimsel with distinction
Amy Grundling Jason Hardy Matthew Hassenkamp Ruben Jordan Moshlashli Molaba Alex Murphy Matthew Nepgen Christian Paul with distinction Robert Price Janu Smith Jan Swart Elena van der Jever with distinction Adeline van Sale with distinction Alvin Fenter with distinction Plant Pathology Debojo Molemela Onkemetse Morweng Lisa Reineke Maserufe Sekalo Rudolf Stradom with distinction Bachelor of Consumer Science Clothing Retail Management Anel Kotze Monique Bonnet Adrian Buffet with distinction Sierra Cunningham Dune Dodds Dale Dupree Claire Evert Monique Hartzer Shanna Howarth with distinction Tyler Jones Rene Jobert Laura Lombard Tana Metzler Jessica Fulyun Amika Fisser Lundy Fisser Emily Falker Cleo Wadiko Haley Webb Shanae Veyers Debbie Wickham Foods Retail Management Anne Marie Guinness Food Retail Management Catherine Barrett Kezia Della Martina Catherine Geldenace with distinction Judy Lee Gilbert Carla Grobler Pietra Klut with distinction Caitlin McGarrigal with distinction Emma Parsons Emma Lee Torrey with distinction Al Rene Truter Hospitality Management Caitlin Bortmar Melissa Furry with distinction Kaylin Hasty Taylin Kench Virginia Cebola Casey Smith Tamsin van der Merwe Bachelor of Science Willem Bosov Hamlet Maseko Bachelor of Science Culinary Science Dene Besedenot Christine Yannick Ecology Billy Joe Dupree Carly Grove Jocelyn Howard Joshua Stone Entomology Nazli Singh Frederick Henneke 
Lesejo Malicana. Food science. Moshiane Mafane. Tato Zechla. Clarissa van Hirden. Yane Duploy. Claudia Junga with distinction. Christy Krier with distinction. Morwesi Lebenya. Dionne Moss with distinction. Chido Maguegue. Tandeka Mashlango. Molochadi Machi. Lesejo Morakile. Fazia Mukadam with distinction. Tato Watlotse. Lebo Pasha. Lucy Purden. Garabo Sequela. Anya Stein. Ursula Tomasov with distinction. Nutrition. Natasha Howes. Chuene Mafodi. Nishka Maritz. Plant Science. Angelique Devet. Albert Van Zyl. Zoology. Sarah Bristow. Miles Bushel. Jeanne Carter. Olivia Chalwin Moulton, with distinction. Pauline Chanel. Bianca Colson. Anne de Beer. Gregory Genvi. Elisbe Grier. Kiara Lash. Willem Ludwig. Selemela Modiba. Nathan Mordant. Melissa Nell. Catherine Udendal. Claire Painker. Jessica Quixley. Keaton Rea. Courtney Robinson. Samantha Trickett. Neve Shah. James Short. Luanco Stans. Anke Stradom. Kyla van Jarsveld. Vanessa van Meer with distinction. Demi van Westendorp. Megan van Seil. Arlen Fuljun. Gerard Wiese. Heather Willen with distinction. Achievement Awards. Margarita Mess Medal. Jonathan Seaman. Schwickard Medal for Plant Science. Deanne Murphy. South African Society for Crop Production Medal. Stefan Steenkamp. Omnia Fertilizer Award. Stefan Steenkamp. Zoological Society of Southern Africa Prize. Caitlin van der Merwe. Entomological Society of Southern Africa Prize. Tania Pogwe. Bayer Crop Science Prize. Rudolf Stradom. Sassus Prize. The prize is shared. Kayla Els. Louisa Lennon. 
Let us give our graduates a big hand for their hard work and perseverance. I would like to thank the families, friends and spouses for supporting our graduates during their studies. We have now come to the end of the proceedings. Please join us in singing the national anthem. By the powers vested in me, I hereby dissolve this assembly of the University of Pretoria. Amen. Okay.